Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special episode on my channel, which is going to be all about everybody's favorite topic, toes. We all have them, except for those of us who are missing their legs, or their feet, or their toes. In which case, you're really missing out. This is definitely not being made as a dare. Uh, the real question that I will be asking, although, is, what is the average number of toes of all creatures? This is going to be a quite a difficult question to answer, but I've done my research, and I feel personally qualified given that I live in one of the states that was good enough to put toes on their state flag, as shown by this chart. But we'll get right into the subject of the video, which is, what is the definition of a toe? This is important to begin us out with. It is the terminal member of a vertebrate foot. What constitutes a creature for my reasons? Uh, I'm going to be going with anything within the kingdom animalia, which means we've got quite a few phylum to go through if we're going to be counting everything. Are nematoda, anthropoda, crustacea, lophotrochozoa, mollusca, and nalida, Perplatihelminthes, Deuterostomia, Echinodermata, Chordata, and that would be the it. But there is a huge importance that we might want to go over before I start going into specific animals, and that is that Chordata specifically is all the vertebrates. And if I go back to my definition, the terminal member of a vertebrate foot would require it to be a vertebrate, meaning that I can actually scratch out every single one of those phyla that I pronounced incorrectly off the list and go straight into the chordata classes. Agnatha, Chondrichthyes, Ostichthyes, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves, and Mammalia. I will also be at the end of the video giving the overall average of toes for both all animals within the vertebrate classes, which means all animals that could have toes, and then I'll also be giving a list of all the of what the average number of toes is if you were to ignore creatures that have no toes to begin with. So, for example, uh, ignoring fish and snakes and such, because those don't have any toes to begin with, even though they're technically vertebrates. Beginning with Agnatha. Agnatha has nine orders. They are Mylocunmingida, which are all dead, so those don't go into any of the calculations. Metasprigidae, which don't have any toes, so that's zero. Yunanozun, they're all dead. Kono don't, all dead. Teraspidomorphia, all dead, so again, doesn't count. Philodonti, also dead. Anaspidomorphy, all dead. Kephlaspidomorphy, which are pretty much all dead, except possibly lampreys, which might be under this. But even if lampreys were included in this, they don't have any le uh, don't have any legs, don't have any feet, don't have any toes. So zero. So in total, Agnathia has zero toes. After Agnatha, we have Chondrichthyes, ten orders. Looking through them, they are all fish. All have zero toes. I'm definitely pronouncing these wrong, by the way. Ostichthries is the largest class in this whole list with 51 orders. Now, you might think that's going to take a while to get through, right? <laughs> nope, they're all fish. So zero toes. They'll go on the zero toe list again. Next up, we've got Amphibia has three orders. Those being Nora are like frogs. One thing about frogs that's a little difficult for me to calculate is that they start their lives as tadpoles, which have no toes, but they end their lives in adult form with four toes in the front and five on their hind legs, which would give them a total of 18. I'm going to simply count just the adult form in this situation because that would be the most toes they ever have. Next we have Urodella which has four in the front and five on their hind, giving us another total of 18. Gymnophonia has no limbs, and as such would have zero, and will be added to our first number, which includes all animals. Next up, we've got the second smallest class, which is Reptilia. There's only four orders in Reptilia, 
and they are now crocodilia as you can probably guess those crocodiles they have five toes in the front and only four on their hind legs which gives them another total of 18 pestudines have 10 toes Rhinochocephalia have 20 total, and Squamata has 14.66 toes on average. Given that Squamata has a varied amount of toes throughout their overall families. Next up we have Aves, which these are the birds. There are 22 aviary orders. Lots of different bird types, and I'm going to go through them pretty quickly because it's kind of boring. Got eight toes in total, four on each to foot for the Passeriformes. Pisciformes has six toes, three on each foot. Pteroclidiformes has, has three on each foot, so six total. Six toes, half Strigiformes eight toes. has four on each foot. Average, so two so four four has seven. four on each foot total. Columbiformes has four on each foot. Pteroclidiformes also has four on each foot. Pteroclidiformes has four on each foot for a total of eight. Pteroclidiformes has four on each foot total of eight. Pteroclidiformes has four on each foot total of eight. Pteroclidiformes has four on each foot total of eight. Pteroclidiformes has four on each foot total of eight. Pteroclidiformes has four on each foot total of eight. Pteroclidiformes has four on each foot total of eight. Pteroclidiformes has four on each foot a total of eight. And the final class that we'll be talking about is Mammalia. 29 orders to go through here. But let's get started. We can start off with the Ertiodactala, which contains camels, pigs, ruminantia, and hippos. Which camels have eight toes, two on each foot. Pigs have 16 toes, 4 on each foot. Rumi Nanantia have 8 toes total, apparently. I think that's 2 on each foot. Hippos have 16 toes, 4 on each foot. And as such, the total for of Arteodactala is 12 toes. Carnivora, which this includes dogs, bears, raccoons, pandas, skunks, otters, badgers, Weasels, mongooses, hyenas, cats, seals, walruses, and earless seals. Now, seals, walruses, and earless seals may look like they have flippers, but they technically have toes. They have five on each foot, giving us a total of 20 for all three of those categories. Cats and dogs both have 18 toes. Bears have 20. Raccoons and pandas actually have an extra big toe-like appendage, which gives them in total of 22 toes. Skunks, otters, badgers, weasels, and mongooses all have 20 toes. Hyenas have 16 toes total, which brings our total for carno carnivora to 19.4 toes. Our bats. Bats have five toes on each foot, and they have two feet, so that's 10 toes. Armadillos, and they have 18 toes, which is the Colugo, which I don't even know what that was until I did this, but they have five toes on each foot, so 20 toes total. Hedgehogs and moles, and they have a total average of 21 toes, because moles have extra toes, are the elephant shrews, and they have 16 toes total. The hyrax, I don't know what this creature was either, but they have 14 toes. Rabbits, hares, and pika. Rabbits have 18 toes, hares have 16 toes, and pika have 18 toes, which gives us a total of 17.3, which is whales. Whales have no toes, so that's a zero, and will only be getting added to the count for all creatures. Tapirs, rhinos, and equines. Now, tapirs have 14 toes, rhinos have 12 toes, that's three on each foot, and equines sport the lowest toe count of any creature, having only one toe on each foot, for a total of four toes. That means that Perisodactyla, in total, has ten toes as their average for the overarching section. Anteaters, sloths, and sloths a second time, because there's two types of sloths, one that has ten toes and one that has twelve toes. I'm pretty sure they're literally called the twelve-toed sloths also. But the anteaters have five on each foot, which means that they have 20 toes. Giving our total for Pilosa, 15.5 toes. Primates includes monkeys and humans, 10 toes total. Five on each foot. 
Elephants. They have 20 toes. Five on each foot. Rodentia. This is rodents. And oh boy, do we have a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of families within the rodent category. We got guinea pigs, porcupines, degus, beavers, squirrels, chipmunks, kangaroo rats, gophers, mice, rats, and gerboas. The smallest of these being the gerboa, which only has seven toes average because some of them have six and some of them have eight. Rats sport 18 along with mice. Gophers only have 16 as far as I can tell, although that was really difficult information to find for some reason. Kangaroo rats have eight toes total. Chipmunks have 18. Squirrels have 18, although some types of squirrels have more apparently, but I couldn't find much information about that either. Beavers have 20. Degas have 20, porcupines have 20, and guinea pigs only have 14, which brings our total for Rodentia to an even 16. Tree shrews. All the tree shrews have 20 toes, 5 on each foot. Sirenia. No toes is aardvarks, and they have 18 toes. No tremata, which is the platypus and the echidna. They each have five toes on each foot, meaning they each have 20 toes total, which brings that total to 20. If we add all of the mammalia together in that case and average it out, we get a total of 15.4 for the all animals and a 16.4 for all animals ignoring the ones that have no toes. Which means we now have all the numbers we need to calculate what the average number of toes for all creatures is. Doing some quick maths, we can discover that the total for all creatures that are vertebrates that could have toes is 7.2 toes total. And if we ignore all the animals that don't have toes, uh, such as fish and snakes, we get a total of 15.4. Almost Exactly double, but it's actually a little more than double what the original number was ignore, uh, with all creatures. Now, you might be asking, who cares? And that's a really good question, because this doesn't matter. 